Marx provides in a, a, a way of understanding capitalism. So it's not about construction of utopias. He kind of doesn't do much of that at all. Um, but is explaining to us what the contradictions are of a capitalist system and why a capitalist system is uh, bound to head into certain crisis configurations. So you can use Marx's theory to explain <coughs> the crisis tendencies. I think you can also do it to explain how it is that the power has shifted to the bondholders and why it had to shift to the bondholders because that was the only way of overcoming the contradictions of how state power was being used in the post-war 1945 to 1975 period. So, so you can use Marx to explain uh, uh, why that had to happen and, and, and then start to ask questions. For instance, if you look at global debt right now, the global debt and the IMF came out with a study of this just recently, is now 225% of global GDP. Now, that's a very, very high number. And if you look at the history, it's doubled since 2000. So we're headed into a situation where in order to pay off the debt now, we borrow even more. And this is what we call a Ponzi scheme. So in fact, we've got a Ponzi cap. Now, how long a Ponzi capitalism can last depends upon how, how long people keep a fiction in their heads that somehow or other adding zeros to the global money supply, as the central banks are doing through uh, quantitative easing and things like that, uh, at some point or other, uh, that, that's, that's going to run out and, and we're going to have an explosion in which, uh, I mean, the fact that it's all the debt is now 225% of global GDP suggests that uh, the whole future of the world now is 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 foreclosed. In much of the, and I think that Greece, in some ways, emblematic of what's likely to happen to everyone. And I, I try to say that to people: look what look what they've done to Greece. They're going to do it to everybody at some point because the only way they can make something work is to extract enough wealth to pay off all of that debt. And if the debt gets to 400% of global GDP, which it may in 10 or 12 years, what, what on earth is, 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 is going to happen? So I think there are stresses, really big stresses, which are now going to have to be resolved somehow, either by wiping out the debt, which is going to be you know, a violent uh, thing because it's going to affect all sorts of people, including me, because my pension is invested in all of that. So pension funds are invested in that. So we're all caught in this thing on both sides. So we have to understand that. And, and so I think uh, Marx helps understand uh, a lot of uh, a, a lot of that if you if you read him uh, if you read him right. And, 